Hi everyone and welcome to the Mern Stack. In this video, I will discuss with you the differences between far, let, and const. So let and const are the two new constructs which were introduced with ES6. ES6 which is ECMAScript version of JavaScript. But before itself, before ES6, there was already the var keyword which was used to declare variables but it caused some problems because it did not have lexical scop scoping. So what is lexical scoping? If you define a variable using let and cons inside an if statement or inside a for loop block, right? Inside any block, that variable will only be visible inside that block and not outside of the block. But var keyword, it used to be visible in every, the entire function, okay? To see the differences, we have to take an example. So first, let me create a function with print name, where this will take a parameter called name, and then we will check if name is equal to John, then we will create a new variable using the keyword var. Using the keyword var, we'll create a new variable called new name is equal to John Doe. And after we create the new variable here, we will try to print the variable using console log outside of this if statement block. So new name. And now if you run this function, print name, and you send the name parameter as John, it will check and this will match this condition and this part of the statement will run. And now you should be able to see the new name here once we run it. So let me run the file using node variable.js and you can see that we have John though here because the name was passed as John and the output is here. So what you see is that var was defined inside this block. A block is formed when you use two braces and you have multiple statements in it, right? It is used to group of multiple statements so this variable declaration is inside this block, but still it was accessible outside of this block, right? It is accessible inside the entire function, in fact, when you define variables with var. Of course, it will not be accessible outside here with console log new name. If you do here outside this function, it won't be accessible. It will throw an error. But inside the function, even if you define inside loops or inside if statements, it will always be accessible inside the containing function. Now if I use let keyword to declare a variable, right, and save it, and then try to run the same code, let us see what we get. We see an error here that new name is not defined because it was defined inside this block and let and const have lexical scoping. They have lexical scoping. By that, it means that it's only available and visible inside the block. So only if we move this statement inside the ifs, if block, then we'll be able to see the name as John Doe because of let. Let is, if you define any variable using let, it will only be accessible inside the parent brace. To be accessible outside here, if you want this to be accessible outside here using let, you have to do something like this. You have to declare outside, like ne let new name equals to an empty string, and then you have to redefine and update the variable without declaring it again. Now, node variable JS, you can see it's working just like far now. Using let and const, you can do and achieve this kind of functionality. Now, const is exactly the same as let, the same scoping rules, it has lexical scoping. But the only difference is that once you define a variable with const, you cannot change it later. So const new name equals to this, some empty string. Now let's see whether you can change it or not and save it. Now you get an error here that assignment to a constant variable. A constant variable cannot be assigned later. You can only assign it beforehand. Okay. But far, it is not constant and also it has no lexical scoping. So once you define with var anywhere in the function, it will be accessible inside that function, but let will be available only inside that block. Same with const, and it is recommended that you use let and const most of the time, and rarely use var, depending on conditions. 
because Latin cons helps you to clear up the scope and write proper code and also avoid lots of different kinds of bugs. So thank you for watching this video and please like, comment and subscribe to the Mern Stack.